So today, let's talk about the fundamentals of the paleo diet. So a huge component of the paleo diet is fats, and these are good fats. And you're gonna get these fats from uh, animal meat, oils, and nuts and seeds. So I've stocked my kitchen with sesame oil, hazelnut oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. Uh, and I have various nuts and seeds, uh, pecans, walnuts, cashews, almonds, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, uh, chai seeds, hemp heart, stuff like that. I also have this skinny bee, I've talked about it before. Uh, it's kind of, it's like a cereal that you can mix with unsweetened coconut milk, so it's really good. So these are the general fats that I'll be using in my diet. Wait, but fats make you fat, right? Wrong. Your body needs fat. It will actually give you energy. It'll make your skin look better. It uh, abs uh, helps you absorb the fat-soluble vitamins. And most importantly, it makes and regulates your hormones. So women, this is most important for you. And if you disrupt that, that production of hormones and those natural levels, that is when you actually gain weight. But my body needs glucose from complex carbs to fuel my body right? Wrong. In fact, uh, many tissues like your heart, your intestines, and your kidneys function better on ketones than they do on glucose. But there are some complex carbs in the paleo diet. Sweet potatoes, white potatoes, also carrots and parsnips are part of the diet as well. So this is obviously going to come from animal meats. So there's beef, good cuts of steak, uh, roast beef, uh, ground beef as well. I have a really good connection with a grass-fed uh, turkey farm, so uh, I get ground turkey from there, turkey sausages, turkey bacon, um, chicken is a big part of the diet as well, and same with fish, so salmon and various white meats as well. Does the meat have to be organic and grass-fed? Organic and grass-fed. Basically, obviously, the two is awesome if you can get that and afford it, but obviously, you know, the price goes up. So organic, basically, all it, all it means is that whatever the animal was fed was organic. It could be organic grains, if it just says organic. Um, what you want is you want an animal that's grass-fed. Animals are not meant to eat grains. Kind of like what it does to some of us humans, it uh, creates a lot of intestinal problems. Hence why a lot of cattle have to go on antibiotics because of the infections that they get. So if you're eating an animal that was grass-fed, you're not getting all those antibiotics that would have had to have been fed to it if it was grains. So, um, you know, I do get some, some grass-fed meat if I can, but, you know, I'm not made of money, so, you know, I do the best that I can. So my carb sources are mostly coming from vegetables. Veggies are basically unlimited with the paleo diet, and there's so many great concoctions and meals that you can make up with a variety of vegetables, a certain type of meat, tons of spices, and then an oil as well. So, uh, but you know, I, I, I also take in some fruit as well, some berries and apples, and, but it's mostly in the morning or pre-workout. I'm not one to eat a lot of fruit in general. And then there are some root vegetables, like I had said, with potatoes and carrots and parsnips. So that's the basis of the paleo diet and what I'm gonna be eating for the next 60 days and probably after 60 days because I love the sounds of it. There's so much great variety and I've come across so many great recipes that I can't wait to try out and actually share with you. So stay tuned for that.